Today I'm working on a custom house portrait and I'm doing the shadows and this one is a bit different because the light is what you call backlit so the sun is kind of behind the house actually so a lot of the home will be covered in shadow so there's gonna be lots of shadows today and you know normally I don't pick backlit angles because um, it's, it's not as interesting because the whole thing is in shadow, um, but this um, client really liked this angle of this house, and I actually think there was a lot of dynamic with this composition in this way. There's kind of a tree shadow in the foreground that you get to see, and it actually, I think, looks pretty warm and inviting by the end of it. I think there's still subtleties in the colors that kind of differentiate the contrast and tones in the further back it's i make it a bit darker as opposed to the front it's a bit lighter so there's still some differentiation between the two of them But yeah, I'm just kind of going over and layering. And this I would, you know, generally use more water. I'm kind of doing a little bit more of a dry brush on this one. I think it's just because I picked a smaller brush, so it, it was a bit harder to do. Um, but I, it still turned out really good. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. and add the window panes and I kind of just eyeball it I put a little white dot where I think the center is and then draw my lines across I'm working on these little kind of brick details of this um, yellow brick color interspersed with a more purple brick and a red brick and then also sometimes it's a bit too bright so later on I'll go back over it with um, the shadow color because um, it just needs to fade into the background a little bit more the final painting so let me know what you guys think in the comments and follow along <laughs> 